Hello there, my name is Evelyn Tweed and I am the MSP for Stirling. I recently took up um, the post of nature champion for Azure Hawkers and you probably know they are very rare and we need to look after their habitat. I'll say a little bit about that later. Um, it's lovely to see you, um, I know virtually, hopefully one day in person. Um, so today I'm not going to do a traditional speech, I'm not going to read anything out, I'm just going to give you some general comments about why I accepted the post and what I feel about the environment and how we have to look after it. And I hope you enjoy it. If you want to follow me, you can look at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, and I do often post now about dragonflies. You'll be pleased to hear. So, first of all, I'm really glad you invited me along and it's not a speech or words about politics, which is fab. I do enough of that elsewhere. So why do I think nature is important? Well, we've all been through the pandemic. To a certain extent, COVID is still with us. I think a lot of people realised during the pandemic how important nature is to us and our well-being and it also gave people time to reflect on what is happening uh, in our world and in terms of climate change. It was very important and it still is very important in terms of our well-being. During the pandemic um, myself and my family did lots of work in the garden, we grew loads of vegetables, we thought about pollinators, um, we built two ponds, one a fish pond, one a wildlife pond, um, which now has frogs in it, um, we have dragonflies, we have lots of creepy crawlies, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to have that resource, wonderful to have a garden. And I think everyone started thinking that wee bit more about the environment and what we are doing to it. We are very lucky here. We've got Flanders Moss close by, which is a nature reserve. Um, some, of, some of you will know it. I was lucky enough to go along with Danielle, with Amy and with David in the recent past to look at dragonflies and honestly it was one of the nicest days that I have ever had as an MSP and I'm hoping to get another invite soon. I would love to go and see the Azure Hawker site which is Kuror I think um, and I'm reliably informed that that's where they get off the train and train spotting. Um, very famous scene. I would love to go and see an Azure Hawker in its natural environment and obviously its environment's under threat um, and I'll speak about that just shortly. So why is it important? Why are we thinking about all this stuff? Well you couldn't have had your conference on a better day. Today is Earth Day when we should all be thinking about our natural environment and why it is so important. Now I did really important research for today. I went for a walk. I went for a walk uh, to the river in Dunblane and as you can see it's a beautiful day. I went down the river with the dog, we sat in the park, um, we looked at the birds, I saw a wren, I saw ducks, you can see it in the background. Um, the daffodils and it was just absolutely glorious. We need a great environment for good well-being, good mental health. And I was thinking when I was sitting down there, the two biggest things that I used to get into my inbox as a local councillor at the time was the bins not being collected and um, people not picking up after their dogs. And why is that? Because people care about their environment. These things were huge issues 
There's lots of other things going on locally, but they were the things people cared about. And on Earth Day, whether it's the local stuff or the bigger stuff in terms of climate change, it's a great day to have your conference and to make us really reflect on what's important and how important our environment is to every single thing we do. So the government in Scotland has obviously taken this very seriously. We want to be world leaders in terms of climate change and there's now a biodiversity strategy in place for 2030 which will make sure that we have a vision for biodiversity which hopes to restore and regenerate biodiversity by 2045. I think that's very important. It's things that we need to work towards. The Scottish Government believes that this strategy will help to underpin our economy and help us to address those climate change issues. So what role can we play? You are obviously a very engaged community. You want to help. I think it's amazing that your posts are so positive and that's lovely when we live in a very uncertain world just now in many ways. And it's important that we look at how we can make sure the biodiversity of these areas is saved and regenerated. And I know the British Dragonfly Society has been doing a lot of work in Kuror um, and the various pools, etc., to make sure that biodiversity gets better and to save our dragonflies and hopefully make sure their habitat is amazing so that they can have a healthy population going forward. The way to do all of this, and you will know this, is to work collaboratively. And that's why all these projects are so important and why the Scottish Government is focusing on this, to make sure that we can work together to make sure these environments are amazing and healthy and can make sure we look after dragonflies in the future. So, I suppose all I want to say is, I'm really pleased to be a champion. I would love to meet you all in person at some point. Um, I'd like to ask Danielle if we can maybe visit more sites. Um, David, if you can come along and take some more great pictures and make sure I'm actually looking at dragonflies and not other things, um, as I did the last time. Uh, keep me right. And I hope you have an amazing conference and it's been lovely to speak to you today. Bye for now.